Welcome back to Area Diesel Service. Today we're going to bring you a little bit different content. So if you've been following over on Captain Kleeman's channel, you've seen that he's been resurrecting a 555 Ford backhoe. This machine came to Captain from our friends over at CNC Equipment. Clinton and Kevin pulled this thing out of the fence row and dumped it off at Captain Kleeman's house. Captain Kleeman tore in and you've watched him get this thing cranking, get it started, go through all kinds of different repairs and upgrades, get to where we're at today. If you watched his last video on this machine, you'll see that we sent him a radiator, that went very smooth, and we sent him a water pump, and that did not go too smooth. Gave him, I must have gave him the wrong information. You can see the difference. It is a double pulley, but you can see the difference in where the pulley's at. The overall depth is the same, and the bolt pattern does match up. It's just the pulley difference, and I'm not sure. I don't think a fella can swap those. Maybe they can. I don't know. I'll give him a call. What should have been a, a standard issue, easy part to source, has proven to be quite challenging. This backhoe has 201 cubic inch Ford three-cylinder diesel engine. They made 10 billion of these engines. They are not unique. The water pump is not special. But if you followed Captain's content, you may have seen where he had some issues when he replaced the pistons or piston rings, right? So he got into the Mondial style piston or the Mexican hat piston and he had some confusion there on what should have been in that engine. It sounds like the engine was potentially transplanted or replaced in the mid 80s and maybe that's why he had the piston ring trouble. Maybe that's why we're having the water pump problem. Uh, we're not really sure. What we do know is this water pump with this style pulley cannot be sourced. OEM cannot help and it's not in the aftermarket. Okay, so this is the pump that we identified Captain's machine requiring um, and it's close. The uh, pump casting is the same, the bolt pattern is the same, impeller is the same, but you can see the height in the pulley is different. Again, we scoured the earth looking for this pump. No one in the aftermarket manufactures this style pump or, or this style pulley. Uh, the OEM or the dealership says no longer serviced without replacement can't be helped. A, a, a swing and a miss on our part supplying this pump, but one of the things we specialize in at Area Diesel isn't so much water pumps, but it's taking care of the customer, right? So, all right, Captain, we apologize. Let's do this. Why don't you send us the pump that we sent you, and why don't you send us your original pump, and let's see if we can make something work here. Got a good start. Bolt pattern is the same. Casting's the same. Can we take this pulley, put it on that pump? Not a particularly interesting service operation, but again, the goal is to take care of the customer. We're going to try to pop these pulleys off here at the parts counter. If it gets too involved or, or doesn't start to, doesn't start going well, we're going to send this back probably to the to the pump shop and let them give a whack at it. So we're just not tooled up too good at the parts counter, but but we're going to try it. First thing we want to we want to make sure of. We don't know if there's a pilot or a register on the impeller shaft, so we kind of want to document where this pulley lives in relationship. To the, to the mounting flange. We want captain's belts to line back up. So we're just gonna take a measurement. This is gospel. We're gonna say this surface here is good enough to register off of. Just for reference, we want the pulley to go back on this pump and have 2.87 inches uh, of distance from this surface to the top of this pulley. So we're just gonna write that down just in case there's nothing for this pulley to bottom out on this shaft. We'll see how this goes. We've got just your standard crow's foot pulley. We're gonna see if we can get this pulled off of here. We're gonna try and feel for them to come out the bottom so we know we've got about the same amount of length. Make sure we get a full purchase in this pulley because this pulley is unobtainium at this point. All right, so that one's flush to the bottom. And that one is flush. 
flush to the bottom. We'll try and line up as best we can. We may end up needing some power tools to pull this off. I can tell you already it's fairly tight. Yeah. Probably going to need a vise, maybe some heat, penetrating oil, and a prayer. We don't really have a water pump shop per se, so we're going to send this back to the fuel shop, see if the guys can pull this off, clean this pulley up, put it on that pump, get it back out to Captain, let's get this backhoe running. We're going to give her a couple Aga Dagas. If that don't do it, we're going to give her a little heat, maybe a little juice. So we're going to see if we can get it off here. About all the little butterfly impact wanted, but it pulled it off. There we have it. One pulley removed. Looks like we do have a register on the impeller shaft. We'll check the diameter, shouldn't be a problem. Clean this pulley up before we put it on this new water pump. Gas the same. Well, that's where the old one was. I don't know if we should go any further. We're going to leave her right there. All right, here it is. Not a super technical situation, but something that I think it's important for us to talk about and demonstrate. You've heard us say it before, Area Diesel Service is an organization that is very devoted to taking care of the customer, right? So we say all the time, 
A high quality customer experience is the most important factor in our success and everyone contributes to the customer experience. And that's everyone from the technicians building the product, the warehouse folks shipping it out, customer service folks answering the phone, getting you information back to you, or in the unfortunate circumstance when we ship you the wrong part and there is no correct part available, finding a creative way to service the customer. This wasn't difficult by any means, right? We took care of it in just a few minutes, but it's the, the customer's experience that we're interested in in these circumstances. If you find yourself in a similar situation with any type of diesel engine component, again, we're most well known for turbochargers and fuel injection, but we do a wide variety of things water pumps, engine overhaul kits, you saw us hook Captain up with a radiator, after treatment components, anything diesel related, starters and alternators, we can help you out with any of these types of components. So that's it for this one. We're going to get this boxed up, shipped out to Captain. You'll see him reinstall this thing and put this backhoe back in service. If you need to get a hold of us, please don't hesitate to do so. You can contact us at 800-637-2658. That single phone number rings all of our locations in Iowa, Illinois, and Indiana. You can send us an email at parts at areadiesel.com. You can log on to our website at areadieselservice.com where you'll find a wide variety of high quality information and the ability to chat with a diesel expert immediately through the button in the bottom right hand corner of your page. If you're not already following Captain Kleeman, please go over there and check him out. Let him know we appreciate working with him. So that's it. Thanks for watching.